he loved the enthusiasm and the opportunity to work with young developing players who really are just here and want to be better players. So my role specifically looks at physically developing the players. If you get that right and put that into play, then it's better for the group and it's better for, for the individual. We'll ask them to fill out their activity and, and their wellness based data on a daily basis. The second part is that we'll use our GPS to monitor them when they're doing activities outside um, so we can get a good indication about how hard they're working. Uh, and the last one is that we'll track the, the load that they lift inside the gym and very specific about their programming of their strength sessions. The challenge from my point of view is just being able to give them the time and the coaching opportunity, instruct them and just show them how they need to be executing exercises or um, their nutrition plans, their recovery plans, how they just need to go about being the best athlete they possibly can. So uh, that just takes some time and, and reinforcing messages and educating them and answering a lot of questions and helping them out. I think the best piece of advice that I could give is that if you train consistently and with good intensity, um, that you'll ultimately get the goals that you're looking for in relation to preparing to be a better cricketer. From my point of view, uh, it's irrelevant to me whether or not we're winning or losing, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but we're certainly here to make sure that the team performs and then enjoying our time together and coming together as a group to move forward and, and be a, have a, a positive mindset is something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really um, important to maintain an equilibrium um, and move forward together as a group. DHL, the team behind the team.